Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. This one we're talking about Thursday Night Football in the NFL. We got Giants, Cowboys. Going to be a good one for Thursday night, so stay tuned to hear all four of the picks we have in this video. And if you guys want more picks, join up in the private Discord here. You can see some huge wins we've been having with the picks in the Discord. I give out more picks in here in all sports, but we have a bunch of other cappers giving out picks. You can see NFL Sunday had a big five-pick hit here. Some of our other capper big wins here. College football as well we cashed out in the Discord. Helping people with our picks win some big slips here, as you can see. With a combination of sports, went 6-0 and in my channel the other day with MLB and WNBA. Had a 14-2 and MLB run, 6-of-6 six six college football weekend. Hit on 10 of our 13 picks in the Discord on Monday Night Football. So if you guys want more picks from me for the NFL plus all other sports and picks from a bunch more cappers in here, definitely check it out with the link down below. It's less than a dollar per day or less than winning just a $5 three pick slip on prize picks. So you guys saw some of the big wins and those crazy streaks we've been going on in the Discord. So for more picks in all sports for me plus a bunch of other cappers, definitely check that out down below. But now let's get into this game. The first one I'm going to go to here. It's going to be Dak Prescott. I think this game will be closer and pretty high scoring based on some of these lines we have. So I am liking going to some of these guys on the overs. Got to have the game script for these picks. If you're doing a five or six pick slip here, your picks have to make sense together. So going with Dak Prescott here over on the pass plus the rush yards. If we look at this game, it is just a six point spread and a 45 and a half point total, which implies Score is going to be like 20 to 26, 19 to 25. Dallas is going to win. So definitely a good amount of points expected in this one and a closer one than some people may think. I like going to Dak here over on this line. This is just one that he's hit historically, and I am liking the matchup here. So if we look at Dak over on Outlier, which is a great tool, highly recommend trying out at least their free trial. It'll be down in the description. You can get seven days of this for free. We're going to be using it all video. I use it for all sports every single day. We have Dak Prescott here. You can see his last two games on this combined line, 305 and 386. Has had some huge games as of late since that first rough game against Cleveland. And then we can look at last year. This was a 72% hit rate for Dak here. 13 of 18 games last season. Definitely liking this one. He's had some huge ones. And their last game against the Giants, he went for 421 combined before that other game where the Dallas won 40 to 0, he only had 149, but we're expected a closer game here and a big one for Dak. So, liking this line and this spot for Dak, 269 and a half. You can also see the pass yards are 262 and a half and the rush is 9 and a half. So, those combined would be, you know, like a 272 and a half, 273 and a half line, which usually we get that kind of line or even higher on these combos, but this time on price picks, they're going lower. You know, so even if he doesn't hit the pass yards at 262 and a half, he can still get under this amount of rushing yards and bump you up. So usually you see the combination higher. This time it's lower over here on price picks. Another tool that I love to use here is Odds Jam. And again, they have a free trial. You could find all the tools that I use in this video down in the description for a seven day trial and 25% off Odds Jam. But basically, look at Das Press Spot here. On Odds Jam, they'll compare prize picks to other sports books and sites. So 269.5. FanDuel's the only one that has it lower. So if you're playing over there, you can get a better line at 266.5. But Caesars has this at 276.5. So does Underdog. So we're getting a good deal. So Odds Jam over here will show you some value that you could find on these sites like prize picks. Definitely another great tool to validate some of your picks and get. The best lines possible. So going with Dak on the first one. Then we're going to go to the other quarterback in this game, Daniel Jones. We're going to take him over on a interception. So we're expecting Daniel Jones to get an interception in this game. Dallas, one of the best teams as far as interceptions in the NFL. And I think Daniel Jones playing from behind most likely in this one. He's going to have to be forcing the ball downfield in this game should throw an interception and this one on odds jam you can see the odds on other sports books so for him to throw an interception on DraftKings is minus 135 but across the board these sites are liking it parlay plays minus 144 so all the sites are liking it on the over for this one I like going with these sports books on these picks on prize picks it just makes sense and it's going to give you better value and return over time if you're going with these sports books picks so liking Daniel Jones 
on the interception. We could take a look at some data on this one over on Outlier. So far on the season, has two interceptions, but only in that first game. He played Washington, who doesn't have an interception this year in three games. So we've had a really friendly matchup there as far as Washington. And then you can see Dallas over here on the side. They rank fourth in the NFL with one and a half interceptions forced per game. So one of the top teams in the NFL in getting interceptions. Last season, you can see four of six games he threw an interception and had six interceptions total in six games, which was more like five and a half games because he got injured. You can also look at Daniel Jones historically on the interceptions. So his first season in 13 games threw 12 interceptions, then 10 in 14, 7 in 11 games. Had one good season where he threw just five interceptions, but historically he's almost like an interception per game type of player, except for that one season in 2022. For this one, we're going to stick with the Giants. Go to Malik Neighbors over his receptions at six flat here. I think we're getting a good line, and I know we're getting a good line because of odds jam. We can see one of their top picks for this game is Neighbors over on that line at six because all these other sports books have this at six and a half. Some like Hot Streak and Fliff even have this as the favorite to go over six and a half. Getting it at six flat is definitely going to be a big advantage here compared to getting this line at six and a half. Just going to be a lot safer. Liking this one for neighbors as well, too. The targets have been crazy the last two weeks. They're just throwing him the ball a ton. So, like going back to neighbors to have another big game here. We can see the rookie, his first game, he got five catches. Followed that up with 10 and 8. So some huge games. And you can see the targets. He caught 5 balls in 7 targets. Then he got 18 targets in the second game. Caught 10 of them. 12 targets in the last week and caught 8 of them. So the targets have been insane. And the catches have been there as well. A pretty high catch rate at 63% overall on the targets he's getting. And he should see 10 plus in this game again against the Giants. They should be throwing a good amount. Like neighbors to continue to hit these numbers, get the targets, get the catches. I think this is going to be a good play and good value that we're finding over here at six instead of six and a half where every other sports book has it at. The next one, we're going to a similar line for Dowdle here. We're going to go to him on his reception over at two flat. So he's actually a pretty good pass catching back. We didn't see that early in the season, but now they're starting to use him more in that role. And I think eventually he should be overtaking Ezekiel Elliott more and more as the season goes on. He's just looked better than him in the last couple of weeks, especially. And I think that starting this game, he'll start to see even more work. And he's been a great pass catcher and seeing a ton of targets as of late. So we can look at him and we can see that his line is at two and a half a lot of places as well. We're getting it at two. He had four catches in week two three last week and the targets five and five each of the last two weeks the first game he just had one catch on one target but Dallas definitely was controlling that game didn't have to pass as much and this one is expected to be a closer game here I do think he'll be in for these passing downs and be able to get at least two catches but could push three or four again like he saw the last two weeks so I'm liking him in this spot and on this line at the two flat I think it's definitely a good one. We can also look at last year and see how many times he had at least two catches. So in six of 17 games last year, he had two catches or more 35% of the time. But we have to look at the snap count here. So in 2024, he's been seeing 44, 43, and 46% of the snaps. And I think that's just going to go up as you've seen Ezekiel Elliott's snap count drop down from 51 to 40 to 19. But last year, looking at, at Dowdle, you can see... There was only two games where he saw above 28% of the snap count. And a lot of games he was seeing less than 20% of the snap count. So still to get a 35% hit rate on two or more when he was seeing very minimal snaps last season. And honestly, probably a lot of those snaps were when the Cowboys were up big running out the clock and they were just handing him the ball and not really in passing situations. So even... Last year, hitting this at 35% of the time, barely playing and not playing at the ideal times to be a pass catcher. I think he's just an underrated 
part of the pass offense here and getting this line at two is definitely one that I'm looking to jump on. And if you guys want more picks for me for the NFL, but all sports, definitely check out the private discord. You can see Monday Night Football. We hit 10 of our 13 picks posted in the discord. A six for six college football weekend, a 14 and two MLB run because we post in all sports, a 6-0 and day, massive hit with NFL Sunday, going 5-5 five for five on those picks. Another one of our cappers having a big day, college football picks hitting. Some more recent hits here for all sports from our cappers. You guys can get in here for less than a dollar per day, get picks every single day from me, plus a bunch of other cappers in all sports. And we've been going hard with the NFL as well. You guys saw some of the big wins and streaks we've been on. So we'll see you guys over in the Discord and subscribe to the channel.